Hi there. Welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. I'm going to wish you a happy Valentine's Day early. Don't forget to get something for that extra special someone. Hope you're having a great day in uh, the office. So today we're going to talk about cross-hatching. And most of us do some type of hatching in our drawings. And something that always bugs me, that's when you go to do a cross-hatching and AutoCAD tells you that it can't do it. Why? Usually because there's some little tiny hole in your boundary and it won't let you crosshatch. It drives me crazy, right? So AutoCAD 2010 actually added in a new feature that will help you out in some cases like that, but let's face it, most of us aren't on 2010 yet, or many of us aren't. So I'm going to show you something that's been in there for quite a few releases, probably 2004, I'm going to guess. So um, let's set up the scenario. Here I have on my screen, I have this area, watch my cursor here, that I want to crosshatch. It's a room, very simple, and it looks like it should be a pretty easy thing to crosshatch, a very clear boundary, right? So I'm going to go into the hatch command, and I am going to set up the scale factor and the pattern. Let's switch it over to ANSI 31, and it's kind of a big join. I'm going to change that scale factor to 200. And now I'm ready to go ahead and select the, the pick points that I want for my for my room, right? So I come in here and I select inside of this room, looks pretty simple, straightforward, and goes, ah, a valid hatch boundary cannot be determined. Oh, are you kidding me? It says zoom out, do this, do that. But basically what happens is we end up doing that little zoom game, right? Where we zoom into all the corners and all this, we, we spend a lot of time trying to find where the hole is in the boundary. Usually we spend more time searching for the hole in the boundary than it would take us to actually just draw a new boundary, but you know, that's not the point, right? So I'm going to close this up and I'm going to show you this really nice feature that's in the hatch dialog box. It just isn't very obvious. So I'm going to go back into the hatch dialog box and you'll see this arrow in the lower right hand corner. Not obvious, right? So I'm going to go ahead and select that arrow. And there's all kinds of really cool things back here. You should take a look at this sometime. But this is the part that I want to talk about, this gap tolerance section. So basically, you can allow AutoCAD to uh, accept a bit of a fuzz factor. You know, how big of a gap are you going to allow AutoCAD to have and still crosshatch? Great feature. Now, this drawing's pretty big, and my gap is actually pretty big because <laughs> I zoomed in because I, I, I found it earlier. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a tolerance value of 150 units. So basically, that's how big of a hole I would allow to have happen. So let's see if it's going to let me crosshatch now. So 150 units, that looks pretty big. And let's give it another shot. I mean, let's face it, if you don't like it, uh, you don't have to keep it, right? But let's give that a try first. Before you start doing the zoom game, let's give it a try by changing that gap tolerance value. All right, let's do another pick point. And I'm going to come in, same area, come in here. Looks pretty simple. Oh, this hatch boundary is not closed. What do you want me to do? And it gives me the option to continue to hatch anyway. I love that, right? And you can say, don't hatch the area, but why would you do that? <laughs> and always perform my current choices in the lower left-hand corner. So do yourself a favor and select that so you don't have to see that question over and over and over again. So continue hatching this area is definitely what we want to do, right? All right, let's see what happened. Now, of course, you know you should do a preview, but I like living on the edge. I don't know about you. Look at that. Hatched it. No problem. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I strongly recommend that you think about the next time you do a hatch and it doesn't work Think about changing that gap tolerance value. I think that you'll find that's way easier than trying to find the hole, right? So I hope that you have a great rest of the week. Thanks for joining me, and I'm going to see you back in two more weeks.